What's up everybody and welcome to this week's Photo Fridays. My name is Alberto and this week we're going to be showing you guys a photo that is not having to do with Photography 101. I'm not going to teach you guys. I know we've been doing it for the past three weeks, um, about four months, uh, four months, four weeks, um, about one month. And I don't know. Uh, I know I'm cutting it short. I know most of the things in life suck if they are cut short. But hopefully we can go back to that. If you guys like it, let me know. You know, I'm, I'm always up for suggestions. And uh, I'm willing to create more of those if you guys are willing to learn and stuff like that. It was just something for me to, to give you guys for being a sustainable audience here on the Photo Fridays episodes and stuff like that. Anyway. I just want to show you guys a picture first and then I'll go and talk to you guys about it. So here's the picture that I'm willing to show you guys for today. So yeah, that is right. It is Elmo on a toilet so that he can learn how to potty train. It's a potty training regimen toilet thing for little babies and stuff like that. And I just and it just happens to have his creepy face on on the bottom right. It, no, it was like really creepy. On the, if you guys can I, I know you guys can't see the entire photo. But the, the bottom picture just kind of shows him a little creepy. Well, I mean the eyes, they're like really like circular. There's like no lid or anything, just boom, just eyes. You know, I mean, how do these these animals, If well, I don't know what type of animal he is, but I guess he's a monster, but whatever. How, how do they like keep their eyes wet, you know? Um, they, I don't see any tear ducts in, in their eyes, it's just spherical type of things just put like on the top of their heads. I don't, I don't know how that works. And some of them just have eyelashes that are just right there. I mean, I guess it, it's good for those that have eyelashes. I mean, Big Bird has at least um, some lids so he can close and he can, you know, hydrate his eyes, but... Man, Elmo, goodness gracious, I don't know how, how he can get his eyes, but anyway, speaking of Elmo, I heard that Elmo was, uh, well, the, the voice guy or the puppeteer for Elmo was charged for a sexual molestation, uh, for child molestation or something like that on the news. Um, don't, don't, you know, take my word for it, you guys can search it online or something, it was just very recent. And the reason why I saw that uh, on the news or any something was, well, number one, it was on the news and it was a very big thing. Plus, you know, during the political campaigns, they did talk about PBS, stuff like that. And, but uh, I was also researching that specifically, you know, sexual offenders because on my English essay, for my English class, I needed to write an essay about sexual offenders, you know, and it was a, it's an argumentative class and it was about rehabilitation of sexual offenders. And so what I, what I want to know is what do you guys think? Do you think that sex offenders could be rehabilitated or do you think there's no way, no chance that they'll ever change ever again? And I want to know why and I want to know what you guys think. Please post it in the comment section below. It's a very debatable topic and that's the reason why my teacher gave it to me. Um, as a topic to write about. So I would like for you guys to um, give me your uh, opinions, put them in the comment section below, and if you guys are into the photography, as that's why I put these types of videos out, because I love photography, and of course maybe you guys like photography as well. I have the photo specifications for the photo that I took for today in the more info section in the description. So go and check that out. But that's pretty much it for this week's Photo Fridays. I hope you guys enjoyed it or enjoy it. I mean, you guys can continue watching it. But that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys next week when I show you guys another photo for, well, that week. So peace out. I'll see you guys then.